Hello, my friends. How are you guys doing today? Let me hope you guys are doing fabulous and you're having a wonderful time. Now, remember that, as usual, like I always say, if you're not having a great day in this video, at this moment, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is that catches you not in the best of mood, just remember that it is going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's only a season. Uh, it will pass through. Um, there is not one season that comes and it stays forever, be it winter, autumn, spring, summer. They all pass away. So just believe that your season or your time to get a break from whatever you're going through is truly going to pass. Guess what? It is day number four. Wow. Congratulations. You went through day one, confronting some things in your own personal um, life with a decision to weed them out. Then you went through day two, asking to do it a mind, like a mind transformation, detoxing the mind uh, totally. And then on day three, when you did a few things that has to do with the elf, working on the elf and a lot of um, educational information pertaining to your health and where your health is a concern that is so important. Remember um, what the good book says, like I always say, um, as scriptures dictate, that above all things, that the man should be in good health and prosper, above all things, above all things. So uh, if it's important for a, a supernatural realm, it's important um, for everyone in this world to enjoy good health, peace, and prosperity. Um, today, um, I do acknowledge also that some folks uh, would have gone to church yesterday for those who are faith believers. Um, you know, that was some added uh, inspiration and hope uh, that was given there accordingly. Um, today, we're, we're going to be looking at uh, emotional scars, emotional scars, or burying the past completely to get on the path of burying the past completely but especially the emotional scars so here's a picture that i, I want to paint to you first you got the car you got the car it doesn't matter if you can drive or not you got the car and um after you got the car you put some fuel in it or someone put some fuel in it even if you are just about to learn how to drive and after you put some fuel in it or gas into the car, you start the car. So it, it, it meant that you 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 had good you know intentions. You 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 started the car, and 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 after you started the car, you just can't press the accelerator. You just can't press the gas. You know where you want to go. You know where you need to go, but you just can't. And, and, and so what is that? As you are following this program, you started. You started this one hundred days challenge to an healthier, happy, and a prosperous life. You, you, you started, just like you started the engine of that car. You also got to the point of getting some fuel in it. So you took time to also try to detoxicate the mind. Uh, you, 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 you also begin to weed out some things. So you, you got some things together, like you got the car. So you, you're, you're beginning to you know, prepare the foundation. The car is the foundation to move to where you want to go to. Because without the car, you will not be able to go wherever you need to go. And, 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 and so that is so uh, important uh, right there for you to have that foundation. But, but, but uh, however, those, those, those cars, those emotional cars kept holding you back from continuing 
or receiving that extra strength and push you need to continue in the process. And, 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 and that is so crucial, uh, you know, for you to be able to get over those emotional scars. Now, I'm sure that all of us know by now how those scars, emotional scars, takes place in your life. Sometimes it was someone that you love dearly, someone that um, you trusted, and they betrayed you. Uh, sometimes it was your aunt, your uncle, your brother, your sister, your nephew, your own child, or your own children that really came against you. And, and to this day, it created an emotional scar that no matter how much you try to get rid of it, no matter how much you try to move forward, it is still there because you cannot believe what has happened. You know, even, even the very uh, Bob Marley says that, that, that only your best friend knows your secret and, and only he, you know, who can reveal it. You know, so, so again, it, you know, those best friend and, and family, you know, that even knows your secret and they brought it to light and, and, and it, it destroyed you. I mean, it, it really hurt you so bad that even this day you're not able to get over it. You know, sometimes uh, you, you are physically uh, abused, physically abused. Be it a slap in the face, a, a, a punch like a punching bag, uh, you know, um, you, you know, uh, perhaps you were you, you you experienced being raped. All those things create emotional scars, and, and and you're trying so hard to get over it. You're asking God, why, why, why did this happen to me? Why I had was to go through all of this, and, 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 and so as you're trying to proceed with this 100 days challenge, it is so hard to get past that hurt. But I recall a song that a, a gentleman did some time ago when he says that you can get past your past. You can walk away from painful memories, past your past. You don't have to be alone. So I just want to remind you today that indeed you can get past your past and that you just gotta have to muscle up that strength and decide Decide that you're not going to allow this emotional scar, this emotional bondage to hold you back any longer, but that you are going to get over the scar. You are ready to press the accelerator. You are ready to press the gas. You are ready to move forward. And so this emotional scar must go. Remember that you are Lord. You are Lord and you are a God and a goddess over those emotional scars, those emotional hurts that, 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 is, that, that has came to rob you of your joy. Sometimes it was your own. You had your own. Everything was going well. You, 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 you had your car. You had your business. You had your money. And someone that you trusted brought it to naught. Somebody, someone brought you to zero and you had to start all over again. Oh my God. I know it's painful. I know it hurt. I know that that is so, you know, hurt. It, it just sank deep within you. And it's like you just can't get rid of it. And, and, and so that age, you just have that that age, that hatred towards that person, that despise towards that person. But remember today that while that person is, is trying to go on living their life or just Going about until whatever is coming to them, you know, is, is, uh, is, is going to happen. But you are left with that scar. And you walk around with that scar on your shoulder. You walk around with that scar up on your head. You walk around with that scar in all your actions. Every turn you turn, every move you make, that scar is still there. And that scar is holding you back from being happy. That scar is holding you back from moving forward. That scar is holding you back from being the best of yourself. It's time for the best of yourself to come out. It's time for the best of yourself to shine forth. It's time for the best of yourself to get on top of the world. But you must forgive. Forgive those persons, how they hurt you, how they humiliated you, how they brought shame upon you. How they uh, uh, um, allow others to despise you. How they allow others to wrongfully accuse you. How they allow you was to be pers you know, persecuted. Forgive them. You must forgive them so that you can move forward. You must forgive them so that you can move to the next level. 
The longer you, you remain and the longer you stay to forgive them, a lot of things that good, a lot of good things that were supposed to happen in your life is going to be delayed and, uh, and be on st stand still because you are holding that grudge, because you are holding that thing against them. But it's time for you to release them, release them so that you can move forward. You've got to release them. You've got to forgive them because it is the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. You must forgive them. So do it for yourself. Do it for your children if you have children. Do it for your next generation to come. You must forgive them. You must allow it to pass by so that you can move to your next level and claim what is yours, what is rightfully yours, your, your heritage, to claim what is rightfully yours, your opportunities, your, to allow your talents to come out. To allow your real personality, personality, the best of you to come out, you must forgive them. It could be that you, it, it could be that it was your mom, forgive your mom, your dad, forgive your dad, your uncle, forgive your uncle, your stepbrother, forgive your stepbrother, your stepmother, forgive your stepmother, your in-laws, your uncle-in-law, your 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 auntie-in-law. Whatever way that they were related to you, because they were the one that had the best opportunity was to afflict hurt on you, was to uh, uh, afflict those hurt on you, was to hurt you the way they have, because they had easy access to you. And so they used that to hurt you. But today, I want to encourage you that in order to press that gas, you are in the right place at the right time. But you must, you must get over this hurt. You must erase it. It's like, an, it's like a rubber. I know that it's not that easily to do. It's not that easy to do. It's like they say, easily said than done. Just to erase it with a rubber. But you know what? That strength in you, that personality within you, know, that strength in you, you have the power to erase it. Erase it completely like a, like a rubber. You can erase it. You can erase it. I encourage you today to begin to work on that. Press hard, push hard to erase it so that you can move forward. It has held you hostage for so long, for so many years, for so many years. It has held you hostage. How long? And, and it doesn't matter if you go to church or you do not go to church. But how long will you allow this thing to keep holding you back? How long will you allow it to keep uh, 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 being a, a burden and a, and, and a bondage over your head. Let this be your liberation. Let this be your day of liberation. Let this be your day of jubilee. Where indeed you are walking out of Babylon. That scar, that hurt that has kept you bound for so long is your Babylon. And it's time to walk away from it. Doesn't matter how it happened. Doesn't matter who did it. It doesn't matter how. That hurt, that bondage is like, is like that person that, that is on drug, addicted to drug, addicted to cocaine, crack, marijuana, addicted to, to, to opium, addicted to so many things. That is like a similar experience because you just can't let it go. Today, I encourage you to let it go. Erase that emotional scars, let it go. Because the better of you is waiting to shine for it. The bed of you is waiting to say, world, here I am. I've come to take my position. I've come to take my place. You will not hold me back any longer. Finally, I am free. I thank you so much again for watching. I thank you so much again for being a part of this 100 day challenge to an happier, healthier, and prosperous life. You can do it. Make note of these things. Work on it. I know that you can make a change. I know that you can do it. Until next time, God bless you. When you've done all you can, man, it seems like it's never enough. I Yeah.
and there's nothing left to do. You just stand and watch the Lord see you through. Yes, after.